Hello everybody, welcome back to a new video. Uh, today I'll be showing you how to make a horror game. This one's updated than my previous one. Where did I have that? It was, uh, it was really, really outdated. I think it was like a year ago. Let me check. Yeah, this. This was this was very, very bad. Very, it was two years ago, super outdated. Roblox Studio has changed. A lot of things have changed since I last made that video. Um, and so I'm actually using my microphone for the first time in a little bit. Anyways, uh, go ahead and grab this link in the description. It'll bring you to uh, this updated realistic horror game kit. Basically, it'll just have everything that you need to make a horror game. Um, and then go back to Roblox Studio. Open up. I'm using the flat terrain, so I don't have to use the, the generate command. Um, and then go to your inventory and toolbox. And grab the updated realistic um, horror game kit. So it'll come like this, pretty much. You'll just see a bunch of this and then you got a little monster over here and then you got your waypoints for your monster to follow so uh i think you'll see a folder here yes it'll just be called updated realistic horror game and then it's kind of self-explanatory Re replicated storage goes in well replicated storage and then so on and so on just go ahead and drag this in I don't know, I seem kind of awkward doing microphones now. I mean, I, I, I used to just, um, for a while, because I didn't, my microphone wasn't good, I just, uh, didn't use my microphone, but yeah, I guess I got a new one, so, just testing it out. Um, yeah, so once you have all that in package, just, you know, you can delete the, the folder after that, and then you got your little horror game. You got, like, um, the door, you got the lock door, the key, and I think inside here is the yellow key, yeah. You can just grab that and place it wherever. Um, and then I just went ahead and grabbed a tree pack. You can find this in the toolbox. Um, you know, very basic. But for, you know, this demonstration, I'll just use this. So, um, I got a tree. And you can actually go ahead and start making your terrain. If you don't like the flat, basic terrain, you can actually go uh, to the editor up here. You can go to generate. Let me delete this land. Go to generate. Um, there we go. Bring this in down i'm gonna make sort of like a mountain terrain do uh don't use caves caves like i mean if you want caves in your game then go ahead but like i don't i i personally don't recommend caves i don't like them they just like make random holes in the map and it's very annoying so if you're if you're good at making terrain then go ahead by all means you can do whatever you want but i would recommend using the uh generate in the create tab for the terrain editor because it gives you this and this is actually like really really good besides for all the, the little brown spots but we can patch those up with grass and then the thing about the water like if you use the uh what was this one if you use the paint it would be like a lot harder plus there, there wouldn't be a bottom to the water so uh yeah i mean it's it's decent it's basic um so anyways yeah just grab your trees or whatever let me see where mine are oops Okay, and you can just grab your trees. Um, if they kind of stick out of the terrain like this, just grab the move tool and move them down. I also had a couple of people in my last video ask me how I uh, move stuff so smoothly. Like, you guys might have this, you guys might have something different. Um, go to your model tab up here, and then uncheck move and uncheck rotate. And then you'll just have, you'll have smooth stuff like this, and you can just move it around like that. So, th there's, uh, there's the fix. Sorry I didn't get to it. Um, and then, yeah, you can just start placing your trees around here. Um, I'm just going to do this pretty fast. Um, and so, yeah, once you... Oh my gosh, that looks so cursed. Once you once you have uh, trees that you like, and they're in the right order um, for you, uh, you can start adding the areas. So, I'm going to actually grab something really quick. Uh, just check... Um, I might use it like an abandoned house. Where's my recents? If y'all want this model, I'll link it in the description for you. Yeah, so you can get you can get something like this, put it in the back. Um, it can be like some part of your lore or whatever. And then go ahead and grab your... Actually, you know, I'll demonstrate this for you guys. I'll, I'll, I'll show you how it works because I don't want you guys to be confused. But yeah, if you have any questions, just, you know, ask me in the comments. Let me move my scary little guy out of here. Okay, so uh, I'll show you how this door works, yeah. So, play here. 
So just, you know, the GUI, uh, if you want to change it, just go to uh, server script service and then change it. It's not that hard. Press start to begin. I feel like I'm about to be chased by the monster. Where's the monster? I'm scared. I'm scared. Oh, yeah. Um, If you're experiencing issues, like if you want to be in first person, you go to game settings, go to avatar, and then change the game to R6. I can show you how to do that in just a minute. But yeah. So like, like if we were in first person... We can just open the door, and there's a cool little outline. I like it. It kind of shows you where you're opening the door. Um, there's the, the scary little dude over there. I think some of these uh, work like this. If you're trying to hide from the monster, the scary dude. Yes, it actually works. So you can like hide under the table, and so it's actually pretty cool. F for your flashlight, and you just use your mouse to steer. So, yeah, pretty cool. Um, I was kind of glitched because I was up, but yeah. Um, so, dummy, you don't need to worry about this. I think this is was, this was, shouldn't be in the pack. Um, but yeah, your, your little AI will follow the waypoints. And now, there are different kind of waypoints. So, there's, uh, part one, part two, and then there's, uh, loot points, and then TP points. So, like, if your monster gets trapped somewhere, like, say, the water, like, you don't want him to go to the water, you can have, um, TP points around... And, I mean, you can, there's no specific order, so you can just duplicate these forever. And then, if it if it gets stuck and it notices, like, the code notices that the monster's stuck, it'll automatically TP the monster uh, to one of the nearest um, teleport points. Which is, uh, which I think is actually great, because you don't have to manually go in and fix it. So, um, yeah, I will show you how to make the sky darker, if you guys want, without using a skybox. I don't really like the skyboxes, because they mess with the atmosphere, and I don't like it. Just, I'm not a huge fan of it. Um, and then, obviously, we'll change the grass color and stuff like that. Um, let me see here. Lighting. Uh, just keep everything the same if you're using the flat. I, I, I kind of like the style of this because, oh my god, without it, it just looks like eye pain. Um, let's see. Lighting. And then, yeah, just just follow my little thingy mid bobbers. I don't know. I'm, I'm tired. It's, it's 4.12 in the morning. I've been awake for hours. Um, I'd recommend setting the time to maybe, like, hmm, what does 3 look like? 3 looks pretty cool. It's very, very dark. Um, let me see if, what does 5 look like? 6, 7. So, if you guys want to be, like, an early morning game, you could do 7. Actually, it looks pretty nice, the, the sunrise. Or you could just do pitch black, middle of the night. Um, yeah, oh, I was going to show you. So, Go to game settings. I, my game hasn't published yet, so you're gonna have to make a game. Um, you can name this whatever, and then go to avatar. It should be the second to bottom, maybe the third to bottom, and then click R6 at the top of that little menu that pops up. And then you, your uh, your game needs to be R6 uh, because that's how the UIs work and stuff like that. Uh, you can actually go to starter player and change this, I believe, to start uh, R6. Starter player, come on. User choice, user choice. No, no. Lock first person, no, there's that. Maybe it was the lock first person. I don't know, I'm so tired. Um. Anyways, yeah, you can go ahead and place your monster wherever. I recommend bringing the waypoints with it, otherwise the monster will just immediately start walking to the waypoints, and then it'll be all funny and glitched. So, I, you know, I'd have the waypoints around here. Maybe uh, it goes around the lake. Ooh, you know, it'd be a great idea to add a cabin. Yeah, like down here. Cabin, maybe some guns, some supplies, maybe a letter. That, that's what's cool about making horror games. So many ideas. Um, yeah, so if you guys have any questions, just let me know. Uh, this link will be in the description again if you haven't already found it. I'm sure you have. I don't know why I said that. Uh, and yeah, so if you have any questions, just let me know. Um, and actually, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna plug this. I haven't really plugged anything. Join our Discord server. Um, I, it's, a, it's very nice. It's very nice. The, the last person that shot was 30 minutes ago. But yeah, I'm also going to put this in the uh, description. Please join. If you join, I'll, I'll, I'll thank you. Okay, bye.